Hi, this is Jim Mann with Homestyle Southern Cooking. It's so nice to be back with you. It's morning here where I am, and uh, of course I've got my trusty cup of coffee and uh, my seasonal cup. Um, today we're going to make something completely unique and is really different, okay? Uh, we're going to make kind of eggnog bread. Now I know people either hate eggnog or they love eggnog. Here where I live in Mexico, you cannot buy eggnog, okay? We, they don't make it, it's not a custom. So, in one of my videos last year, I showed how to make eggnog, and I don't like drinking raw eggs, so it's a cooked tempered eggnog, and it's really good. So, if you can't get eggnog, which I know in the States you already have it, um, you can make your own. Um, I, when I go home for Christmas, my daughters know they better have eggnog in the refrigerator when I get walk through the door. But this morning, we're gonna make eggnog bread, and I'm going to do something different. I, went, I was at Costco yesterday and I saw this eggnog, traditional holiday eggnog liqueur. And I said, you know what? We're going to make eggnog bread out of that. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to start off. In um, my mixer here, I'm going to got one stick of softened butter. As you can tell, it's really soft. Doesn't take things long, long to melt here. To that, I'm going to add one cup of sugar. Now we'll put this down, and we'll just turn this. I'm just going to sort of mix these together a little bit. Just sort of, just sort of cream them up a little bit. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I've got. If you have large eggs, you can use two large ones, but I've got three medium eggs here, so I'm gonna put three medium eggs in here. So that's one, and another reason why I don't mind making eggnogs with, because I know what my chickens <laughs> chickens eat, and. The homemade eggnog, if you've never made homemade eggnog before, you really need to try to. It's not hard to do, and it's the flavor is incredible. So, okay, now I'm gonna actually blend these together for a few seconds. Get these eggs all mixed up with my butter and my sugar. Now to that, I'm gonna add, I've got one teaspoon of vanilla. I got my one teaspoon of vanilla in there. And now I'm going to add, I've got a cup and a half of my eggnog. Now, if you wanted to use regular eggnog, if you have it in the, in the States, that's fine. You could use just regular eggnog from the store. But I would tell you if you wanted to have that eggnog taste to it, to use two tablespoons of spice rum in here. But since this already has alcohol in this, I don't need to do that. But if you're going to use regular eggnog in the States, just put some spice rum in your, in your mix, okay? Oh my goodness, that smells good. Mmm. See, I love eggnog and I love fruitcake. I'm one of the few people that makes fruitcakes every year still. Um, People used to tease me and said, if you don't be good, I'm going to give you a fruitcake for Christmas. And I said, oh, please, please give me a fruitcake. Okay, that's mixed up pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this aside just for a second. And I've got, I got my measuring cup. It's four cups, but I've got two and a half cups of uh, flour in here, okay, all-purpose flour. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, I'm going to add a pack of jello. I've got French vanilla jello. If you don't have French vanilla, you can use just vanilla. Another reason why I'm using the, uh, the pudding in here, this is, is pudding, um, to also to help to thicken this up since the eggnog is, is so much thinner. So I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to put about a fourth a teaspoon of kosher salt. Okay. I've got um, ground nutmeg. I will put one half teaspoon of ground nutmeg in here. And then I'm gonna put one half teaspoon 
of cinnamon in here. Okay. And then I'm going to add, I've got two, two teaspoons, this is a two teaspoon measuring spoon of baking powder. Okay. Now I could have dumped that all into another bowl and mixed and messed up another bowl, but I said, you know, I'm not going to do that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take a spoon and just gently stir these up to mix these ingredients up so they're not all on the top. So, so I've got my flour and I've got my baking powder and I've got my spices and kosher salt and my vanilla pudding, my French vanilla pudding, all mixed up in with my flour. Okay, now I've got that pretty well incorporated. Let's bring my mixer back over here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put about half in at a time. I'm going to put about half of this in here. And turn this on, let this mix a little bit. Okay, let me add the rest of this in here. Wipe this up a little bit. Put my beater blade back in here and turn it on very slow. And it still flies out. Okay, I'm gonna stop it for a second. I'm gonna scrape down my sides here. Boy, this smells good. Wow. So, I'm really, <laughs> you're my family and friends. So I know that you're forgiving. Um, I'm doing this the first time. This is sort of something that I came up with last night and came up with uh, measurements. And I thought, you know what? I bet you this will work. So um, we'll see. If it doesn't work, we'll know it doesn't work, okay? All right, I think that's, I think that's pretty, pretty well enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrape all this off my paddle braid here, take this off, get as much off as I can. My oven has been set on three, preheated to 350 degrees. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this stay in the oven for about 45 or 50 minutes and I'll keep testing it uh, with a toothpick to see if it comes out clean or not. I've got a nine by five uh, little baking uh, pan here for our egg, eggnog uh, bread and I've got my old trusty spray here. And you know what? That one's, that one's gone. I knew I had two cans that were close to being empty. All right, and of course, as you know, I love to put a piece of parchment in the bottom of my pans. It makes things come out so much more easier. There's my parchment in there. And then I actually go back over that, and I actually spray my parchment paper too. Okay. Now we'll take my batter. And like I said, this is an experiment. We'll see how this turns out. But the batter looks rich and creamy, and it just, like I said, it smells absolutely divine. Okay. I'll put this in my pan here. Just show it to the corners a little bit and get it evenly distributed. Just shake it a little bit, try to get any, any, any bubbles out. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in my oven for about 45, 50 minutes. I'll let you know exactly how long. And uh, then we're going to put a glaze on it and we'll see how it turns out. I'll be back to you very shortly. Well, welcome back. And our eggnog bread turned out beautiful. Look at that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this and we'll set it aside, but I'm going to make a slight glaze to go on the top. Now I'm going to take about a cup, I probably won't need this much, uh, a cup of powdered sugar and put it in my bowl right here. Uh, and then I went ahead and I measured out, uh, make sure what I measured out here, one fourth a teaspoon 
of uh, nutmeg and one fourth teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm gonna put those in there with it also. And like I say, we're, we're doing this all as we go. So um, mix those up. Then I'm gonna go back and take my eggnog. Okay. Then I'm just gonna pour a little bit in there because it doesn't take much. Okay, let's stir this up. And I'll probably have to put more in there, but I'd rather put a little at a time because, okay, I'm gonna put a little bit more. Now remember, the, the actual bread itself has the eggnog in it, it has the liquor in it, but that cooked out, okay? That has cooked out of when you, um, when you cook it, all the alcohol cooks out, it just leaves a flavor. But I'm not cooking this on the top. So this, this actually have alcohol on the glaze. So if this is something that, you know, that you might not want the children to have, you do not have to put this glaze on there. This is just, uh, this is just by choice. Just a tad more. Okay. Okay, so that's good and creamy. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring my cake back over here and I'm just gonna drizzle it on the top. I'm just gonna go back and forth on the top of it. And like I said, you don't have to put this on there at all if you don't want to. It's entirely up to you. Um, like I said, this is an experiment. I can't wait to taste it to see what it tastes like. Uh, I've never tried this this glaze before with uh, cinnamon nutmeg in it either. So this is all going to be a brand new test for me also. Okay. There it is. Okay, now the true test. We're going to we'll cut a piece off it here, off the end. And we'll see how it turned out. Oh, look how beautiful. It looks like a pound cake inside. Look at there. That's really pretty. Okay. Okay, this is going to be the true test. We're going to try it and see. We're going to get a piece that has the, the glaze here on the top. And we'll go bite into this. I've got me a new holiday favorite. I'm not just saying that, but it is really, really good. Oh my goodness. The taste of the eggnog is real light in the cake. So if you hate eggnog, you still like the cake. The icing, oh. The icing with the eggnog and the hat and cinnamon, really, really good. So. Something you can try with the Costco brand eggnog. If you don't want to use that, use regular eggnog and just put some rum, you know, some rum seasoning if you want to. Wow, that is really good. That's going to go on my new Christmas tradition list of things to make for Christmas. I hope you'll try this. I had so much fun thinking about last night. I was going to put it together and bring it all to you. So I brought it to you and we tried it and it's fantastic. Try this. Let me know what you think about it. It's really, really good. Thanks for, uh, for following me on Facebook and supporting me on YouTube. I really appreciate your support. It means the world to me. Till next time you take care of yourself and give yourself a big hug. And I'm gonna have a hard time leaving this cake alone today. And maybe I have a hard time with this eggnog too. Until next time you take care of yourself. This is Jim saying, God bless.